My name is Raget, and I'm going to tell you my story. Before I begin, you need to know that I won't be the one to tell you the end of the story. If I were able to do that, my mother wouldn't be shedding tears now. I'm a young child, and I used to live in the Yemeni city, Ib. I lived out my childhood in an area completely surrounded by nature. I dreamed among the green fields. The trees heard my laughter, and the earth watched me as I played. I liked my school, and the path I'd walk to reach it. The hug my mother would greet me with when I got home was so beautiful. The hot cup of tea I'd drink sitting with my siblings was delicious. The days I spent playing with my dolls passed so quickly. Everything was going well, until I took that first step on an irreversible path. And I wish I hadn't. Ragged, ragged. My dad called and motioned me to sit by his side. He told me that a man wanted to marry me. I didn't know what marriage meant then. I was a child who was still fascinated by her dolls, whose mind was consumed with thoughts of clothes and beauty. I was like any other child. Behind the closed doors of one of the rooms, my mum was telling my dad that she refused to marry me. But her pleas fell on deaf ears. I turned 12 years old, and on November 17th, 2017, I was married. Who was my husband? He wasn't a child like me, or a man a few years older than me. He was an old man, who I would have called uncle had I seen him on the street. That old man and my dad bribed me with toys and beautiful clothes. And I agreed to marry him. I didn't know that my dad would receive money from my marriage to that man to pay off his debts. The day of the wedding I was smiling. I imagined my new house was filled with toys and clothes. But I didn't understand why my mum was so sad. Or why the women looked at me with pity. I hadn't reached puberty when I got married. And my marriage lasted three years. My second year of marriage, I became pregnant with my child. My body was tender. I was a child that was waiting for a baby for nine months. <laughs> Don't wait for Ragged to tell you the rest of her story. Ragged is now buried. Her body that could not handle the pain of childbirth died. Nothing is left of her except her orphan child. <laughs> I'm Ragged's mum, the mother of the child whose father oppressed her. For whose sake I endured beatings and insults because I objected to her marriage. Ragged's death sent a shock through our village. Her friends miss her. And she is mourned by her teachers who now stand in the way of other families who wanted to marry their young girls. Do you think my ordeal is over? Certainly not. For my other daughter, Rahaf, Ragged's sister, who is 11 years old, was forced by her father to marry Ragged's husband in order to take care of her orphan child. Rahaf's wedding looked like a funeral. And Rahaf feared an end similar to Ragged's. As for me, I spend my days with my tears falling on a picture of Ragged that I carry. <laughs> 